Dinosaurs. We're going to use dinosaurs to ruin the world today. An extinct plague has mutated to bring back dinosaurs from the dead. So the big question is, what country can we place dinosaurs in that will attract the least suspicion? Pretty sure Northern Europeans are pretty tall, so dinosaurs are probably blend right in. We're starting in what's apparently Germany. So it begins. It spreads slowly and can be noticed easily if any unusual symptoms show up. Like dinosaurs. Make sure you don't get too severe. What? Severe? That doesn't sound like something we would do. But we've currently infected two people. Imagine being one of the first two infected with dinosauritis. We'll, uh, we'll work on a better title later. We currently have coughing. We're not allowed to devolve it. So if you're going to have this disease, you're going to cough. But that makes it very infective. Rise of the planet of the dinos. Now I get to choose which dinosaurs come back from extinction. This is not a power I should ever have. So we're going to wait till just a few people are infected. We're up to eight now. The more people we infect, the more points we get to spend on better dinosaurs. It is a fairly central, busy location for once. They probably have pretty good healthcare over there though. So for three points, we're going to give everyone sneezing. That makes it very minorly more severe somehow but more infective. Infectious. I do feel like the older you get, the more sneezing is a real thing, because you can actually really hurt yourself sneezing. And there's a few things here in its abilities that we can't devolve, but it starts modifying itself into the requ required DNA and cells, so it's turning itself into a dinosaur. I hope it's literally a person that, like, forcefully gets turned into a dinosaur. But for now, we can make the Archaeopteryx, Archaeopteryx, perhaps, small dinosaurs which can fly and spread the pathogen I've heard enough. You know, I never really considered that those might stand out flying around Germany. To be fair, I've never been to Germany, so maybe they'll blend right in. Okay, here we go. We're very subtle. Dinosaurs roaming around. People are posting videos and pictures on the internet claiming dinosaurs are real and wandering around. Are these real creatures or just another internet hoax? I think we all know that nothing on the internet has been real ever, so we can dismiss that as a hoax. I like how we can already get a Velociraptor, a dinosaur which hunts in packs and to take down prey. Attacks humans in large groups, <laughs> but the severity is as up there with sneezing. We can make them camouflage. Dinosaurs gain the ability to camouflage and get less likely to be noticed by humans. Ghost dinosaurs. We're also going to give them more transmissibility from fomites. I don't know what they are, but they transmit through physical contact especially in wealthy and urban environments. Wildlife 1. Pathogen manifests around animals, lizards, bats, and fish. Yes, those are in fact animals. Yeah, we'll throw that one up there too. The more infective it is, the better. We're going to try and leave it very infectious, but a uh, little, literally severe. I'm evolving dinosaurs, but I've somehow devolved my vocabulary to that of a toddler. I guess it suits my maturity level. So things are ramping up here in Germany. We have like a thousand people infected per second at this rate. So we're getting lots of points. And there's not too many. Uh, I didn't know I could do that. There's only so many red bubbles on Germany and the surrounding European countries. Slight sickness going around. Yeah, there's literally dinosaurs. Slight sickness it is. So because we are in Germany, we're going to give it a uh, drug resistance. It's going to do better in rich countries. We're going to override healthcare with dinosaur power. We're also going to give it air one. This works around in air and I believe warm arid countries. Basically, we're going to make it really, really, really infectious. So it's able to spread around quickly. Uh, we hit the neighboring country, Eastern Europe, Poland, something like that. I'm assuming they're also quite tall, so the dinosaurs should blend in fairly easily. Overall in the world, we just broke 1 million people infected. So I think this disease will affect people, but it also grows dinosaurs sort of on a different thing. We could give people severe nosebleeds, and somehow that's actually worse than velociraptors by a large margin. At least in severity, not necessarily lethality. And you think those two would have a healthy amount of overlap. We're also going to give it some cold resistance because we're in Northern Europe. It probably snows a lot up here. Greenland is always covered in snow. Okay, the plague is spreading. It's getting close to Asia at this point. But if we get the core of Europe infected, it should spread out everywhere from there. Because look at all those airports and seaports. Uh, Germany has just about everyone infected yet. They're not that worried yet because it's really just sneezing and coughing a bunch. We made it to the US. So in theory now, every plane or boat that leaves Germany should uh, land in another country and infect them there. We got our nosebleeds. We're going to take nosebleeds away because that... Uh, makes it too obvious for people. That makes it too easy to find. Sneezing and coughing, nobody thinks any of. Maybe they're just allergic to the dinosaurs running around and it's nothing to worry about. We are going to get some heat resistance at this point too, and then we have just about all the transmission things covered, because we're on the edge of a lot of warm countries, so the virus can spread a little easier down there. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Australia. The dinosaurs are coming for you. Uh, the Festival of Love in Central Europe would probably help a highly transmissible disease get around. Now that I think about it, once the dinosaurs get to Australia, they might actually actually die off because it's very inhospitable. I feel like the animals there would eat the dinosaurs. There's an animal rampage in Germany. The zoo animals that broke out in Germany have gone on a rampage and killed 43. Good job.
job. They're doing my work for me. We've got 147 million people around the world infected so far. So this is going to be good. We're sneaking our way around. And at one point, we're just going to unleash a whole plethora of dinosaurs. New minor disease spreading. Yeah, it's kind of been that way for a while. We got Canada. So Europe's obviously looking fairly infected. We're getting into uh, Asia a little bit. Africa so far looks untouched. But North America, we got we got to get all the continents, including whatever these considered as. So we're going to get water transmission. Pathogen can survive its the body and fresh water warm water, increase of infectivity, especially in humid environments, and ship transmission. Ship is a big one because, well, there's a lot of ships leaving Northern Europe. They just don't know they're carrying dinosaurs. We got the UK. Good thing we picked the water thing, those rainy islands. Finland has also become part of the dinosaur empire at this point. Hey, we did make it down to Africa. East Africa as well. Okay, we're getting pretty widespread. Australia and the islands around it are still a little bit untouched. I saw a ship leave somewhere here to uh, Greenland, but it apparently wasn't carrying this disease, which is very sad. But on the bright side, cheap clean power discovered. The dinosaurs will use that to enslave the humans. Or just probably eat them instead. I'm going to spend a massive 17 points on drug resistance too, which is further going to uh, fight against class 3 and 4 antibiotics. So they're for, it can go further against drugs. We're fighting the war on drugs with dinosaurs, I guess is what I'm taking away from this. We're using dinosaurs to defeat drugs. Look how infective this is though. That's just ticking along. We're getting like 10 million people a second. Okay, we got Iceland. So we got one of the lands. Greenland is the one that I really want to get though. It's also quite hard. Oh, there was a red ship, but it landed in South Africa. I thought it might swoop around to Australia. Doomsaurus Awareness Day. Yes, if you see a dinosaur, do be aware of it. That is abnormal in today's world. We got Japan. Oh, I think we just got Greenland. Soon to be known as Dinosaur Island. This whole thing is just going to be dinosaur land. And South America, we got into Brazil. So we've still only affected maybe 15% of the world, but that's going up quickly. Because they're not really working on a cure because it doesn't seem that bad yet. But we're going to spring the surprise, surprise on them soon enough. We just need the whole thing to turn red. Already there's dinosaurs on pretty well every continent that exists. So the world is in trouble. And it really, really wants us to have nosebleeds. But I think at this point, we do want velociraptors. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit lethal. It's going to be a little bit severe, but it's velociraptors. Then there's also some really cool options. We can get extreme relocations. Dinosaurs will relocate to other countries to avoid getting killed by task forces, but that increases the spread of their disease. Zombified dinosaurs. Dinosaurs that were shot dead get reanimated with a slight chance of infecting soldiers. These are going to be unstoppable. But we really need to be careful about how quickly we unleash the deadliness of this. I really need more of the things down here to start getting infected also. Dinosaurs come back from extinction. Yeah, that happened like four years ago, but good to see people are paying attention. Militaries are going to show up soon and kill them off. Germany starts cure research. So right away, we're going to spend nine points to get camouflage too, which is going to slow down the time needed for a cure. Also dinosaur skin durability. Skin becomes more immune to hazardous objects around, slows down the cure. We don't want them to get cured. So we'll keep an eye on the cure down here in the lower right, because if it starts getting bad, we're just going to make this really dangerous and kill everyone we can. We got Australia. And since the dinosaurs seem to migrate, actually, as long as we're on the continent, like we haven't affected Argentina yet, but dinosaurs will migrate between them naturally. We just got to get South America going. And I'm thinking maybe it's the extreme weather down there in South America that's making the disease not spread. So we're going to get environmental hardening, become a Highly weather resistant and extremely comfortable in both hot and cold. Because there's definitely some big blank spots here and I notice they're probably warmer countries. At least geographically. I'm not sure if they're cult culturally very warm or not. I know little about these places. But now we're getting somewhere. Okay, we've got like 55% of the world infected already. 4 billion people. Germany's been working on a cure but they're not very good at it. We're still at 0% overall. We have 70 points though. I think we could probably start making this pretty dangerous because we've effectively infected the world. So the first thing we're going to do is get zombie dinosaurs. So they're going to start to shoot the dinosaurs, but they're going to come back to life and infect people anyway. We're also going to get extreme relocation. Dinosaurs will relocate to other countries because they're going to be hunted down now anyway, so they'll move. Then we're going to get a Utah Raptor. Dinosaurs which can attack any human on bikes and can sneak into houses easily. That's terrifying. So I feel like now that we press play, uh, zombified dinosaurs alert. Yeah, that would probably make the news. Everyone is advised to stay at home and let the soldiers deal with them. You can try. I've got zombie dinosaurs. Good luck. Plus they spread a rather dangerous disease. So we've killed 2 million people. The world is soon to be entirely infected. No one can escape me now. Uh, we got nosebleeds, uh, epistaxis, severe nosebleeds. I'm just going to let that one be now. We might as well make it worse. 
pretty much got the world infected anyway. Countries are mobilizing special containment squads to capture dinosaurs from attacking civilians. This reduces severity and lethality. I've got a solution for that. What is going to make it more severe and lethal? We're going to get zombie dinosaurs level 2? Dead dinosaurs with chunks of flesh gone get reanimated with a slight chance of mutation. Mutation is fun. We can just wildly mutate this thing. And we're also going to get Cryolophosaurus can take over homes and becomes hostile if any humans come close to it or its territory. Perfect. Uh, and then pack behavior. Dinosaurs will form a pack of their species in order to hunt down humans quicker and will coordinate attacks on nearby task forces. Yes. I think we're probably also going to need uh, Haemoptysis. Coughing up blood from inflamed bronchi increases infectivity and is fatal in extreme cases. Yes. And then we're to set our little dinosaurs going on an even bigger rampage. Dinosaurs infected with Doomsaurus. You think it was a coincidence that this new plague showed up at the same time dinosaurs did? You might have wanted to explore that correlation sooner. Utah Raptor Pack Attacks Lab in East Africa. Cure process has been slowed down due to this. They're coordinating. Elite task force is being sent out. Governments have deployed elite task forces everywhere to help kill the dinosaurs, reducing severity and lethality again. Uh, we'll see about that. We have uh, 6.8 billion people infected, 20 million dead, and we're going to continually kill more. I'm pretty sure we're about to infect the last of people on Earth. There's just a few little holdouts, probably somewhere fever symptom mutated also. Saurians are being scorched. Task forces have now resorted to setting dinosaurs on fire in an attempt to kill them quicker to prevent fatalities. Reduces severity and lethality. I don't get why they want to stop my dinosaurs. We're going to get skin durability too. Dinosaur skin becomes strong in any environment that they're in slows down the cure. We need that now. And then hybridization. Dinosaurs evolve the ability to have bulletproof skin, extreme camouflage, and higher intelligence. Slows down and sets back the cure. So we have like bulletproof super dinosaurs that are also zomb zombies that reanimate. Then we're going to get... Carnotaurus, a dinosaur which can find any hiding humans inside abandoned or in wooded areas. So even if they go try and live in the woods to hide, <laughs> this guy will find them. Alright, and then we'll unpause it and let the good times roll. We are definitely killing 12, 13 million people every tick at this point. There's still a lot of people out there to kill. Populated dinosaur areas being bombed or they're bringing out literal nukes. Severity and lethality have been reduced, yeah. My dinosaurs are out there in the wild though. UAV drones are also attacking dinosaurs in Sweden. If this goes on any longer, nuclear attack is possible. Well, that's fine. You can nuke the dinosaurs, but each one of these dots represents a dinosaur population, so good luck nuking it. Doomsaurus becomes a global threat, do you think? I mean, literally every person in the world is infected by this, and there's dinosaurs murdering people. Just for funsies. Riots erupt over dude. That's not wise. You wouldn't riot when there's dinosaurs on a rampage. That'll make you easy to find. Then we got subconjunctival hemorrhage symptoms. And that actually sounds fun. I want to see what that one is. Blood vessels burst, causing severe red eyes with occasional external bleeding. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. I need more DNA points. Dinosaurs do your thing. Cure research increased. Yeah, not a bad idea at this point. Considering I've currently killed 20% of the entire world with my dinosaurs. Might want to crack that whip a little harder. And we got protests and riots causing a global crisis. Leave it to people to really come together to work on a solution. Yeah, the cure is at 25%, so I need these dinosaurs to step up their murdering abilities, please. We we're getting so many points so quickly for so long. Dinosaurs can camouflage. We already knew that. If they wanted to continue on their murdering ways, though, I wouldn't stop them. We've currently killed a lot of people. 1.4 billion of the world's population have been killed by my dinosaurs. We got muscle weakness. I actually find that really funny because not only are like these super camouflaged zombie mega dinosaurs chasing people, but people now have muscle weakness, so they especially can't get away. So I'm just picturing these really feeble, slow people complaining their muscles ache, whereas T Rex is chasing them and eating them. At least I hope that's the case all over this world we've created together. You well, know, we've wiped out probably one quarter of the entire world, and things are just kind of trucking along. I think everyone's just hiding in their houses or wherever they can, trying not to become dinosaur food. I guess I can devolve some of the transmission things. Because it's already uh, spread everywhere, so we don't need infectivity anymore. I read that backwards. I was spending money to devolve those. So we didn't actually get a refund. We just cost ourselves a bunch of money. Story of my life, am I right? But we got weak bone density also. It just gets worse and worse for these poor people. I'm not even in control of this anymore. This thing's just mutating and having fun on its own. Bones start to get extremely painful, and if put under a lot of pressure, they can break. Slows down and sets back the cure, so these people that had sore muscles before were being chased by dinosaurs. Now their bones will break if they try and run. That obviously also set back the cure, because I picture people are like working hard, pouring beakers into each other, doing science stuff, and then their legs just break under them and they fall to the ground. They've manipulated the genes of uh, Doomsaurus, so that jumped at a head 3%. 
Uh, it's just sort of a race against itself right now, this meter versus this meter. But we're killing a lot of people, and their cure is going to get slower the more people we kill. Uh, there are also nuclear exploding things, so that's probably also going to hurt people. Huge nuclear explosion released vast cloud of radioactive particles. Cause unknown, but location suggests failure sabotage of a nuclear power plant. Oh yeah, you need people to run those. Speak of people, they know of systemic infection. For those of you that don't know, that one's not fun. Affects multiple organs and tissue types, causing body-wide infections that spread fast and can be fatal. So on top of that, they have broken bones, weak muscles, all sorts of bleeding, and dinosaurs chasing them. This is actually beautiful when you think about it. I'm picturing like a world that's like Mad Max, but with dinosaurs added in, but the dinosaurs are smart and bulletproof. I guess also zombies, so even if you do manage to kill a dinosaur, it just comes back. We also have tachycardia. Resting heart rate is consistently above 100 beats per minute, putting pressure on the heart. Yeah, that's pretty good for people with like bones that are falling apart too, so that's fun. Why do they still have a seaport open? I guess it doesn't matter at this point. You'd think they'd be uh, working a little more diligently on a cure, but I guess I did do my best to slow it down. As we hit 2 billion people dead, respiratory failure. Severe hypoxemia leads to catastrophic respiratory failure and death. That one sounds bad. I don't know what I did to make this thing evolve so wildly, but I'm happy I did it. Because I just sit back and watch the chaos unfold. I haven't even been paying any attention to the news up here. Uh, it looks like everyone's just sort of bombing dinosaur areas. I can't blame them. <laughs> we also have neurological decomposition. Causes brain to internally bleed severely and slowly starts to decompose. Slows down the cure. Yeah, I should think it does. Having your brain slowly <laughs> bleeding and decomposing should cause you a whole bunch of different issues. If that doesn't cause you issues, I don't think you have a very good brain to begin with. Doomsaurs crisis alert. Also, thanks Captain Obvious, people are dying from dinosaurs and a disease at an alarming rate. Fatality uh, tolls are ranging from 50 million up to 200 million a day. So I think what we need now is Carcardodontosaurus. A large dinosaur which can easily sniff out and hunt down any humans in research labs. So it's going to eat specifically scientists at this point. See they attacked an cure cap in Colombia. They're smart. There's probably like 14 scientists left in the world to be fair so I feel bad for the dinosaurs. They're not going to have a lot to eat. I guess eventually they'll just eat whatever else is out there. Animals or each other or, or nothing at all. They really got to like 35% of the way done with their cure and just kind of died. A nuke was detonated in USA killing multiple dinosaurs but also killing a massive amount of people. See that's okay though because they killed multiple dinosaurs as in two or more. To celebrate that we're gonna unleash a Tyrannosaurus Rex. A dinosaur which can scavenge any remianning human corpses and increasing the spread of the disease. So now that there's like 700 million people left they also have to deal with T-Rexes and prehistoric plague symptom mutated. Virus has mutated skin decay, muscle failure, and cryptogenic shock. Sets back and slows down the cure process. Yeah, just, just what humanity needed. That set them back a full 3% and they could not afford to spare that 3%. Who knew dinosaurs were so dangerous? Survival groups formed worldwide. People around the world have made small survival groups to spend their final moments together as Doomsaurs and its dinosaurs are eradicating the human race. All hope is lost. Uh, they're still going for it with the nukes though. I think it's a little late, but I'm sure they killed multiple dinosaurs. So that was work worth nuking an entire population for. The first step to solving this would be watching Jurassic Park. They handled those dinosaurs. You could learn a lot from that movie. These people instead decided to complain about weak muscles and breaking bones while they withered and died and then the dinosaurs ate them. It wasn't a good strategy. Uh, Spain has also launched a nuke. I don't know how many people are left in Spain but probably not a great deal. There's 500,000. I guess it might as well nuke at that point. All or nothing. They're just nuking themselves now. Everywhere we look, they're sending nukes on themselves, trying to just do anything they can. We're down to the final 70,000 people. Wow, it's like we're playing World Box suddenly. There's just nukes everywhere. So overall in the world, actually there's still 85 million people, which sounds like a lot, but when you consider that we killed 7 billion, Mm, humanity's not looking so hot. Extinction symptom mutated. Causes all human organs to shut down immediately. Total brain death. And their bones decay at an extremely fast rate. Destroys cure process. Again, yeah, I th think that was implied. Uh, considering like people just sort of evaporate now. We just like Thanos snapped, but like fully. So yeah, people are just absolutely dying. Uh, yeah, the world is doomed. Militaries fall back. Yeah, because they're literally falling apart. They're going to run and just like fall into a pile of goo on the ground. And then a dinosaur is going to eat them like soup. Final 100,000 people. No one wants to launch a final nuke. Dinosaurs take back the world. That's right. The underdog wins.